FMU, you're on the air. Tom. Yes. Hey, this is Paycheck in Toronto. Oh, oh, oh a Paycheck in Toronto. It, it's like a, uh, it's like a class reunion tonight. <laughs> exactly. The class of 2004. What what's going on, with Paycheck? Well, too much. I just uh, I was inspired by your topic of uh, movie summations. I wanted to try a couple. I would love it. For people who don't know. The opening theme to the show, it's this guy. This guy wrote that yeah. song. That's him singing, True. it's Tuesday night, 9 o'clock, yeah. That's him. <laughs> That's it. So uh, what, do you, what do you have? All right. Um, I, I, I just hope the two haven't done these yet. I've got Fight Club. No. Okay. Uh Men grow tired of Ikea, decide to begin punching each other. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. I love I it. One more, one more, uh, Smoking the Bandit. Yeah. Uh, man drives Trans Am across country for warm beer. E, yes, which is my, has always been my, uh, yes, my, my beef. I was inspired by you. My beef with the Smoking the Bandit franchise is, uh, they uh, uh, they get this uh, uh, the bandit because because there's these two guys, big Enos and little Enos, played by uh, 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 Pat McCormick and uh, and uh, and uh, ba- uh, what Barry Williams, Paul Williams, uh, Paul Williams, Paul Williams, yeah. yeah, Barry Williams is uh, uh, Greg Brady, right. So uh, they they're having a big cookout or uh, whatever, a big party. And they want Coors for it. Now, Coors is only available west of the Rockies at this point. That garbage beer had yet to uh, go <laughs> go national yet. Isn't that Mike's beer? Mike's you, brand? Does Mike, you drink Coors, Mike? Coors, oh, Coors Light. Okay. Yes. Coors Light. Yeah. Drinks Coors Light. Trust me. It's got to drink any. You put anything in front of this guy, he'll drink it. You put a you put a you put a thing of Windex in front of this guy. He'll consider it. Yeah. Four loco. Yeah, four loco. You kidding? <laughs> I'm sure that four loco. Uh, I still have it in my garage. Can't wait for it to go through a second summer. <laughs> Some of that stuff. Like, and, like a fine wine. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's paint thinner now. Um. <laughs> But yeah, so they they need this Coors Light. They want Coors Light for their uh, for their uh, big shindig. So they get a a tractor trailer. But they only have a certain amount of time. So they, so they get this tractor trailer to deliver it to go west and get it. And then uh and the bandit is driving uh his car as like a decoy that to, to for the cops. He's just driving, speeding all over the place to keep the cops off uh, off uh, uh, the, the tractor trailer's uh, the, the the tractor trailer's tail. And right. uh, but the thing is, they deliver the beer just in the nick of time, and it's warm. Yeah. It's not a refrigerated truck. This guy's been driving. He pulls in with everybody's partying. Here comes the beer. Great. Let's drink this warm this warm Coors. Which has been in the back of a tractor trailer driving through the south in the su- <laughs> like in the summer, yeah. pulling into a party. Who wa- who wants it first? Ugh. <laughs> and at these Coors commercials now they call it like ban- banquet the banquet beer. The right. ban- what what banquet? What's that? What is that? A KKK rally? <laughs> is that their their banquet? What's that? Well, Ice Cube doing those commercials, arguing with that can. That is like literally. If that guy, when he was doing NWA. Yeah. Look, I don't fault this guy for doing whatever it takes to make money. But the level of this is is almost his Ice Cube's undoing is almost the level of enthusiasm that he's bringing to these commercials, which is the same level of intensity he brought to F the police. He's literally, like, he's not, fo- he's not phoning in the commercials. Like, he's going into them like, 
as mad at that can of Coors that keeps showing him up as he was at at the police. That's right. Right? He's an intense guy. Like he's furious. Like I gotta find some I gotta play some of these commercials on the radio right now. They are the greatest commercials of Ice Cube flipping out at the uh, can of Coors Light. Can someone in the chat send me links to these, please? I'm trying to do a, a radio show here. I, don't, I have all, all uh, doggone day to search these things. I'm supposed to be entertaining you guys while I do it. I, well, I'm going to see who wins for it. Ice Cube, Coors. Let's see. Ice Cube, Coors Light. Here we go. There's a few of them. Do you like these spots better than the uh, Michael Imperioli tequila ads? Yes. Well, I did. Well, it's it's always a treat to see Ice Cube in anything. I saw. Look, well, I don't know why Mike's laughing. Mike thinks that's a joke. You never saw Torque. You never saw Torque, Mike. It's a good movie. Triple X uh, Two, State of the Union, where he saves America. Let's see. Yes, yeah, they don't sound. You're right. They don't sound very good. Let's see. Okay. Like he, it's him arguing with a can of Coors Light, basically. Right. You think you colder than me? Turn on the radio, me. Turn on the TV, me. Turn on the movies, me. So what you got? Coors Light. Don't mean nothing. Ice Cube is cold, but Coors Light is super cold. And now it starts snowing. Oh, it's on now. Frost Brew Coors Light, the world's most... Okay. There's one there. Let's find... There's other... Let's see this one. You still think you colder than me. Now he's no. in the tropics. Don't tell me. Tell Tiny. And here comes Zeus, Tiny, Tiny's Lister, cracking his knuckles at the and cords like And who are you supposed camp. to be? Back up, Henry. What you looking at? <laughs> Cat-like reflexes. Oh. <laughs> and they froze uh, silver bullet pine. Zeus. It's bigger, it's resealed. They froze him. The can spat out a wave of cold, and it froze huh. Zeus, Tiny Lister. Who you might know as the president from the fifth element. It's still the coldest. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Frost brood cold. And because, like, I'm telling you, if the, I, I mentioned it on, uh, on, uh, uh, on, on the, 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 tw the Twitter, but it's like, if the Farrelly brothers ha had half a brain in their head, they'd be reviving, uh, the, like, Abbott and Costello with these two guys. With the, with the can of Coors Light and Ice Cube. Where's the one in the recording studio? How are you coded in... There's one in a recording studio where literally there's a can of Coors in the booth. And I, it's, like, it's almost like they could reveal that these commercials that Ice Cube was imagining them all. It's like the final one should be Ice Cube in some sort of mental health facility screaming and then like a doctor comes in dressed like like he, he comes in like Ice Cube's like I can't take it anymore I keep seeing these Coors Light cans everywhere I look and then the doctor turns into a giant Coors Light can and then like like that's where they, they should end up I think this is the one in the recording studio now, people are saying that you think you're colder than me. This is the board. Nice little trick. But those were some important... Because he blew papers at him. It's almost like Ice Cube's imagining... It's like, like he's imagining these things. This is a great movie. Ice Cube's always looking... I, this should, should be a movie. Ice Cube and this uh, Coors bottle, Coors Light bottle... Just Ice Cube arguing with it. 
and people just watching. Like they, the thing they're not showing is anybody watching him argue. We're like, what's wrong with Ice Cube? Why is he screaming at that bottle? It's like, it's like, it's like his, it's like his breakdown. It's like he's having. As also, it's great to see how popular these commercials are. This one uh, has uh, 684 views. <laughs> 608, like, unbelievable. How can you, how? Nice little trick. But those were some important papers. <laughs> I'm Ice Cube, and nothing's colder than Ice Cube. Did you just snow on me? Ice Cube is cold, but Coors Light is super cold. I hope you got a mop in that bucket. Frost brewed Coors Light. Because he just, this this can of Coors Light or bottle is able to just like splash coldness everywhere and keeps like freezing Ice Cube. I got to say, look, I've met Ice Cube a few times when I wrote for basketball magazines. Wow. And I'm going to say... Of all the people I interviewed, he was by far the nicest guy. He was so enthusiastic and thoughtful with with things. When he it was just like, I'm putting nice ice cube. He's a good guy, right? He seems like an all right guy. Wish there was the one in the nobody's got the one in the recording studio. No one? I'm going to go to the chat and see if anybody's got the link. Here's the recording studio one. Somebody, I think somebody has it. Here we go. No ice cubes in the booth. Hey, yo. I lost audio. What happened? What? Now, the other, oh, side, of the, not be. The other side of the booth all of a sudden is getting covered with ice. And ice cubes in the booth land down like a track. Oh, it better not be. What's going on? Everybody's partying in the in the engine. It's time to put a stop to this. They put a cap on it. Yeah, yay. The Coors Light Silver Bullet Pint. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's resealable. It's still the coldest. <laughs> they call me Hollywood. They come to Big Show. Now, get out of my booth. Frost they room. literally. Ice Cube's in the booth. He put the cap on the the thing at Coors Light. He wins, and all of a sudden he turns, and the the bottle is now in the booth wrapping somehow. <laughs> that one where it goes, they call me Hollywood. That's supposedly, I guess, the voice of the can of Coors Light. It's resealable. It's still the coldest. They call me Hollywood. They come to Big Show. Big Get out of my booth. Frost brewed Coors Light, the world's most. I'm telling you, if if David Fincher is listening to the show, and he does, <laughs> this is a movie that should be. Uh, imagine just going deep into the. Uh, into the mindset of Ice Cube, um, and the into like, like the madness. 